Hello there guys and welcome to the Cedar Point Prediction Awards and the nominees for Best 2021 Prediction are New Coaster, New Coaster, New Coaster and New Coaster and the winner is something to do with Millennium Force. Let's give a round of applause for Millennium Force. Great awards ceremony. We'll see you again next year. Or is this awards getting really pathetic? I mean, we know it's not going to be a new coaster for a few years yet. Oh. Are we still on the air? <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Chad Dogstable, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is from Cedar Point. And today, we're going to be talking about 2021. And something impressive has popped up over Twitter thanks to Tony Clark. Now, one of my YouTube subscribers alerted me to this. Now, I was quite cautious on making a video because I didn't want to, you know, predict anything wild or anything like that. And then people say, no, it's not going to be this. Stop being so, you know, <laughs> optimistic. Uh, but I've calmed down. I've looked at it. I'm going to sort of judge my predictions and I'll spoil it right now. It's not going to be a new coaster. So don't you worry, see the point. You'll get your new coaster in 2023, 2024, whenever it is. But for now, just enjoy what could happen. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. And we'll get your questions in for our next Q&A session for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, in terms of your 150th anniversary celebrations, the plans were cancelled this year, and they're going to be moved to 2021. They're extending season passes and all this kind of stuff for Cedar Fair. But we want to talk about something that was posted on Twitter. Now, it was a little bit of a sketch design. Now, this has alerted forums that this could be something to do with Millennium Force. Now, be warned, it is the 20th anniversary of Millennium Force. I'm going to get on to the facts and stats about Millennium Force for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm saying Millennium Force. If you think Millennium Force is some kind of uh, 2,000 year born natural disaster, it's not. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Millennium Force is a roller coaster at Cedar Point, but we're going to get onto that in a little bit. But first of all, let's talk about what we know already about the 150th anniversary plans for Cedar Point. So I'm only, going to, I'm only going to pick out like the main couple of things. I'm not going to go into detail about the whole thing. You can check all of that on the website. But in terms of uh, main things that they did, they built a brand new tunnel for Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Um, it was like a brand new tunnel. It was during like the off season uh, with a new pet with a station paint job, a new tunnel theme under the brake run for the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. They also brought in the new uh, livery uh, paint job uh, for the. Um, corkscrew and they brought in the uh, new trains of course I already did an update uh, on the corkscrew trains for those of you who need to check out the Cedar Point playlist which I'm going to set up after this video uh, but one thing that did alert me about all this was in fact the image that we could be seeing now obviously I'm going to take into account what could be and what might be however from the looks of it it looks like some kind of intermin train on uh, Twitter on, on the image. Now it's in the forums as well, so you can go and check out uh, Coast Force Forum if you want to see that image uh, and things like that. However, one thing that did alert me is a fact that it's the 20th anniversary of Millennium Force. Now, if you didn't know already, Millennium Force is an Intamin Giga roller coaster that opened at the park on the 13th of May 2000, my birth year, and uh, if I'm thinking with the maths, 15 days to a month. So a month and 15 days before I was born. So a bit of a fact for you there. Uh, <laughs> so it has a length of 6,595 feet, a height of 310 feet with a drop of 300 feet, a speed of 93 miles per hour, an 80 degree vertical angle and a duration of 2 minutes 20 with overbank curves, a tunnel, hills, and obviously the restraints are individual hydraulic lap bars and a seat belt. And it's costing 25 million US dollars. Now, why am I bringing Millennium Force up? Well, this is one of my theories, or should I say one of two theories. My first theory is I think it could just be a general 
retracking in certain places of Millennium Force. Now, of course, this could be uh, one of the turns, it could be one of the straight track sections, it could be uh, a selection of a few track sections uh, while the park's closed or while it's over the off-season, I guess, uh, ready for a continuation of the 150th anniversary in 2021. But they could retrack a couple of different sections of Millennium Force just to give it more smoothness. Maybe do some station work as well and some maintenance with the stations. So uh, maybe give the station a repaint, maybe give the station a new look. I liked the theme of the trailer for Millennium Force. I can't play the Millennium Force trailer now because it's got music in it that will probably get this video copyrighted. Uh, but you can go and check out the trailer, the teaser promo for Millennium Force at Cedar Point that was released in 1999 uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can go check that out. But I liked the theme of that, how it sort of played into the Millennium and the turn of the Millennium. Um, and it's this brand new wave and this brand new force known as Millennium Force. I like the theme of that and I like the... It gave away kind of like a stargazing kind of theme. I, I know it's not what they intended, but in my opinion, it kind of gave like a, a Millennium Stargaze theme. Like a sci-fi futuristic Stargaze theme. So what I'd like to see them do, not go steampunk with the station, but... Maybe go with like a Stargaze type station, kind of like, obviously, us in the UK remember Black Hole at Alton Towers. I didn't get to experience it, but I always like the look of the station because it looks very mystical, sci-fi, futuristic kind of thing. So, I'd like to see them do something like that maybe with Millennium Forces Station and make it look like a, a mystery, futuristic theme and, you know, play the Millennium Force music in the station and, you know, maybe get some projections, like, like have, have a, like a projector or some kind of projection map. Uh, and every once in a while, or every time the train leaves the station, uh, you have the, the M uh, coming for the next train, and then that disappears when the train leaves the station, and then the next train comes in, and you got the M again. Uh, so something like that, have like the, the M with the projection mapping every time a train leaves the station, and the train comes to the, to that you know previous point where the first train was. Uh, like every time a train leaves the station, and then the train comes in again, it reappears. So... I don't know, just little things like that could be done. The second route is brand new trains. Now, we know that Intamin um, love these uh, train designs. We know what they've done with the multi-launchers like Taran uh, and the Velocicoaster at, at Arms of Adventure by Intamin. I'm sure will have a nice train design as well. Uh, but you look at Taran at Fantasyland in Germany specifically, and you look at how the train design for that's very well designed and well themed extremely themed and what i'd like to see them do is something similar with the giga coaster now you look at drakenspire that is a brand new 2021 intamin multi-launch shuttle giga coaster coming to bush gardens williamsburg in williamsburg virginia for the 2021 season look at well it's codenamed drakenspire but it could be called that anyway look at drakenspire Look at the train design for that for a Giga Coaster. Yes, it's a multi launch, but it's still a Giga Coaster. I think if you change the train design, change the restraint system, it would make it more free, more less restrained, even though it's more restrained at the bottom half. It's more smooth, especially with some of the retracks they could do at the same time as well. Um, and there's certain aspects of that of the, of the train design they can change, adapt again with the theme. You know, bring in that stargazing Millennium theme again make the train look well themed give it a nice dark blue maybe like a, a 3d uh, m with the the star uh, stars in the sky dots uh they create in the sky with, at night time you know have that as like a 3d logo on top of the front garage uh that would be a pretty cool way to revamp the trains so i think that the main focus for cedar point and i think that teaser probably gives it away in my opinion that something is being done either track work or train work or some kind of re refurbishment work done to Millennium Force to celebrate 20 years of the ride. It is, been a, it is a dream coaster of mine, not going to lie, it is a dream coaster, I've always wanted to do it and uh, I want to get out there at some point in Ohio in the next few years to do it uh, along with the rest of the brilliant coasters at Cedar Point. Uh, maybe when Cedar Point releases its next new coaster in a few years time, maybe I'll go then. Uh, but for now guys, thank you very, very much for watching this news update on Millennium Force work potentially being done at Cedar Point. Um, 
You can go and look at Tony Clark's Twitter. Again, you can look at the image, you can study the image. What does it tell you? What could it mean? Uh, and I'd like to see your reactions to it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this news update. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.